Um, I told you we do a segment now called Question from a Kiddo. Uh, and this, by yes. the way, again, is uh, Merritt David James, uh, actor. How do you present yourself? Actor, just actor? Or do you go for the triple threat of actor, comic? I haven't really thought about it. It, it, it all sounds like I'm unemployed. Okay, unemployed, <laughs> uh, unemployed yeah. individual, Merritt David yeah. James. Um, so we have a, uh, a segment now called Question from a Kiddo, where uh, I tell the kids who's on, uh, my kids who's on the show, and, uh, and then they have a question that they came up with. So my oldest daughter is uh, getting more and more into theater and, uh, and uh, trying to navigate her way onto the stage. And she wanted to know, what was it like the first time you stepped onto the stage in a role on Broadway? Wow, uh, it was... It was nuts. It was great. It was all of the above. Um, I, I remember my mother had worn the wrong shoes. She wore <laughs> these beautiful heels, but she couldn't walk to the theater. So I remember we had this beautiful dinner and it was only about like half an avenue away and her feet were hurting so much that we had to get, I had to get her a car <laughs> to go half an avenue to the theater so we're kind of rushing in you know um but we had uh it was a great it, it was just a great feeling of going to the theater beforehand and I got in the dressing room and there's all these gifts and great stuff just it was like Christmas around the <laughs> dressing room station um and it was just a you know Andrew Lloyd Webber came up to say hello and it was very surreal you know yeah um and, you know, the first time I went on to take the final bow, that was, that was a really crazy time because I had not done what they call a, a put-in, like a, um, it's a, it's a run-through, right, that says you're ready to go on. Because I understudied the Alex Brightman, the lead guy, before they cast me in the role a while right. down the road. Um, and so I... I remember getting a call from the stage manager and she said, if you had to go on, could you do it? I said, well, that's my job, but you know, just know that I've, I guess the, there was a hole in the stage. I said, the name of the game is going to be dodge the hole. Don't fall <laughs> in the hole. So uh, we, we did that and, and it seemed to go well. The, the, right before the show started, I remember that being surreal. The company manager came and my mom was like in Connecticut and I called her. I'm like, you got two hours to get to the, get to the theater. <laughs> She raced there and made it just in time. And the company manager knocks on my door, my dressing room door, and she's got tickets in one hand and a phone in the other. And she says, here are the tickets for your mom. Um, and she said, we took care of everything, which was very sweet of them. And, and she says, and Andrew wants to say a quick hello. And she passes <laughs> me this phone that just says Andrew Lloyd Webber on it, right? And I'm like, this is weird. Uh, I go, hello? And he goes, Yes, Merritt, I, I just want to say that I, I'm down at my estate in Barbados, and I'm so sorry I can't, that, that the technology doesn't exist from Star Trek for me to immediately beam to your location and watch your performance today. And I said, well, I said, that's very nice, Andrew. I said, I, I wasn't sure that, that if that technology existed or not. But I said, I guess I am now because if anybody would have it, you would have it. And he very nicely, in a very nice British way, uh, wished me good luck and uh, encouraged me not to screw up his show. 